Hello, this is Bob Gawels at on the chemistry faculty at the North Carolina School of Science and Mathematics. This is a short introduction to the course Introduction to Computational Chemistry offered through the NCSSM online program. This podcast is designed to give you a little idea of the types of things you'll be doing in this course and to give you some idea of what skills you should have if you are signing up to take this course. What you should see on the left hand side is the list of topics that we're going to be talking about this course. We'll do some introductions to computational chemistry, talk about applications in computational chemistry, how it's used, um, start talking about different methods in CompChem, and then we really get into the nitty-gritty of CompChem where we're dealing with some of the mathematics of CompChem. We talk about molecular symmetry. We then get into molecular orbital theory. We do two units on that. We talk about basis sets, which are the, some of the fundamental mathematics that you need to understand to do CompChem. We'll talk a little bit about research and the type of research that you would do in CompChem. You'll be expected to do a small independent research project for this course. Uh, we'll then spend some time on looking at molecular properties, transition states, and thermodynamic calculations. Participation in this course assumes that you have had a very good chemistry course and that you have done very well in that particular course. To give you a picture of some of the things we'll be doing, you'll be using the CompChem server to build molecules like this, run different types of calculations on them, and what you will should notice here is that when you run calculations, you get a lot of data, and in this course you'll become expert at analyzing and understanding all of this particular data. So you see a lot of data here. You will learn how to look at graphics like this. These are very pretty colors, but these reds, blues, and greens uh, actually mean something. So being able to interpret these diagrams and be able to say what that means in terms of the structure of the molecule, the properties of the molecule, and the reactive behavior of this molecule those are the types of things you'll be expected to do. Uh, this is fundamentally a mathematics course. So uh, here's a sample of one of the easier labs that we do. Uh, this is a basis set lab. So what you should see here is some reasonably complicated mathematics. And you have to be able to do a little bit of programming as well to produce some, some plots that will give you, and then you have to be able to analyze these plots and be able to say what they mean uh, computationally and what they mean from a chemistry perspective. Uh, likewise, in the mathematics, we'll do things like determine, uh, determination of delocalization energies. So I'm going to assume if you're coming into this course, you're familiar with units like kilocalories per mole, and you understand uh, some of the basic uh, properties of molecules that they do have energy. So we'll do some some matrix mathematics here. As you can see, we're uh, solving some determinants for some matrices. We'll teach you how to do that. What you should see here is there is uh, a, a lot of programming and, and mathematics that you need to be able to do in this course. Again, we're going to do a little bit of linear algebra here and looking at different uh, compounds here. So you'll need to be able to do that. Uh, likewise, we look at things like the, uh, some mathematical determinations of uh, molecular properties, in this case diatomic uh, molecules. So here we're looking at molecules like uh, H uh, hydrogen fluoride and hydrogen chloride. So again, you should see some terms there. There's Planck's constant, there's the speed of light. So there are, these are the expectations that you are fairly uh, familiar with some of these terminologies, things like frequencies, uh, being able to calculate things like a reduced mass, we'll teach you how to do that, looking at bond distances. So um, this is the, the, the expectation if you're taking this course is that your chemistry skills are at the highest levels and that your mathematics skills are, are solid as well. This is a course intended for, for seniors and this is probably one of the hardest courses offered through the NCSSM online program. If you have questions, send email to me, gotwals, G-O-T-W-A-L-S, at ncssm.edu. Thanks for watching.